So today we're going to be talking about oxygen. Oxygen is what you need to actually do ozone therapy. We're going to talk about how you get them, why you need them, and how to set them up. What we're going to be talking about in this video is ozone therapy, but I want to make a disclaimer first and foremost that this is not an FDA approved therapy. Um, you always want to speak with your physician first before starting any new therapies. And these treatments and these modalities and therapies are not here to treat, cure, or prevent any sort of disease. The information that we're providing today is for educational purposes only. So we have two different types of tanks right here. As you can see, we've got our green tank and then we have our not green tank. This tank right here is actually an 870 tank. Uh, this is for medical use. Uh, it's important as a medical provider to utilize this. You get this through a prescription. Um, and this is what we recommend to utilize in the clinical setting uh, really for uh, legality reasons. So if you're a home user, this is the tank that I'm going to recommend you get. This is a 540 tank. So what you want to make sure that you get for this, you can see the differences in actually the attachment ports uh, on this 540 tank. You want to get a 540 regulator for this. On this the medical grade, you can see that it does not have that screw top. It's actually going to fit over. You want to get an 870 regulator for the medical grade. You can actually find these tanks at a welding supply company. So you want to do a local search for welding supply company, uh, for Praxair or air gas, um, and then just let them know that you're looking for uh, oxygen. Both tanks are, the oxygen inside of them is exactly the same. It's 99.99% pure oxygen. So there is no difference within that. Uh, but again, this would be for your home use as this is gonna be for uh, medical use in the clinical setting. Uh, if you are going to a welding supply company or if you're going to Praxair or air gas and you're a home user and they ask you the purpose or the reason why you're using it, uh, the most common uh, that uh, we typically give is it's for a water purification system. And that is how you can actually obtain this. It's very simple to get. Um, it's kind of like going in and getting a cup of coffee. You, you may feel a little intimidated to go and get it, but again, once you find that, just let them know. It's for uh, a water purification system. You're looking for something like this, which this is about a 40 cubic foot tank. This could last you about six months for home use. That's uh, about the same size. This could sometimes be about six months in the clinical setting, uh, sometimes a little bit less. It really depends on how often you're actually using it. If you are at home and you already have a tank like this, you can utilize this tank as well. All right, so I'm gonna show you the regulators now for each of the tanks. Again, this is the 870 uh, medical grade prescription tank that we have. This is the regulator that comes with it. Both regulators you're gonna notice are gonna have the turn dial, which is the actual regulator, which is gonna let you know the flow rate of the oxygen that's coming out. They also have the gauge. You've got the red section on the gauge, uh, which is right here. There's a dial to let you know how full the tank is. So what I wanna show you now is the 540 tank. The regulator for the 540 tank is different than the 870. This one is actually gonna attach onto the side. Uh, you can see that you actually have your bolt right here. So you're gonna put that on and tighten this down. You wanna hand tighten it first. And then you wanna get your wrench, come in and get a nice tight seal. Once you open this up, you may hear a little pop. Number one, that pop. I'm going to make sure the regulator is off, set at zero, which means it's closed. That little pop is basically the oxygen going from the tank and filling the regulator. The moment we do that, there we go, it is open. You're actually going to notice the gauge on the top of this is going to go typically from the red up above the red. That gauge is letting you know how much oxygen is left in the tank. Then when you're going to use this, you want to actually insert your silicone tubing here. And then the other end of that tubing is going to go directly to your ozone generator into the oxygen in port uh, so that you can use that. When you're done with any treatment or any point, make sure that you turn the regular all the way to zero because you do not want your tank to be empty the next time that you go to use it. When you're actually done um, and you need to replace your tank, what we need to do is we need to take the regulator off or let's say that you're traveling. You don't want to travel with the regulator on. We don't want this to get bent or broken. So you're down in the red, your gauge is telling you that your oxygen is empty, you need to replace it. So what do we do? We make sure that this is turned off. We close our tank completely. And I typically will open this up to release the extra oxygen that's sitting in the regulator. Uh, so that airs off. If you don't do that, that's okay as well. You're just gonna get a little bit of a pop or a poof when you actually loosen this bolt. So you're just gonna release it, which you still got that 
little pop or air release, and now the regulator is off. So one key thing with this medical grade, you're gonna see on the tank specifically, there are two holes that are right here. Um, it's going to correlate to the two prongs that are actually on the regulator. So when you slide this over, you're going to slide this down. It's gonna fit into those holes, so it should not be able to move. And then you're gonna tighten the regulator all the way. Tighten it down, don't get it too tight, but make sure it is tight enough. So that is the regulator set up for the 870 tank. All right, once your regulator is on, you wanna open up the oxygen and your gauge is actually gonna increase to show where the level is of oxygen in the tank. Now, when you're done, if you are traveling with your tank, if you're you know, a clinic that does concierge service and you're going somewhere, or you just need to replace the tank so you need to take the regulator off. So what you wanna do first is you actually wanna close the oxygen. So you tighten that down. Now you still have oxygen in the regulator. So what we do is called bleeding the regulator. It's gonna get the oxygen out of here. So we just open this up. And you actually hear going on the gauge is actually gonna slowly go down to the red. That does not mean that your tank's empty. It just means that the regulator is actually gonna become empty. Um, so it's gonna bleed all the way out. Once it's done, which it just finished, I do close the regulator back up. And the only thing that I need to do next is to release this. And you pull that regulator off. So the reason why we actually use the 99.99% pure oxygen is because for therapeutic benefit to create ozone that's actually gonna have an effect, you want that pure oxygen. You do not wanna use something like uh, an air concentrator that's actually gonna take the natural air and concentrate that down. You know, most people say that you're getting like 95% oxygen from that, but there's also impurities within the air. So if you're trying to do that and run that through the generator, you're going to get impurities. So you do not want to use an air concentrator when doing ozone therapy. You wanna stick with the tanks. Again, either the 540 for home use, which is what we recommend, and then medical use, the 870 tank.